Hey you going sexy people, it's been a while. So my last video got pretty popular on the Pterodactyl install. I have a couple of uh, things at the end of the video to hopefully help with some troubleshooting steps. But for now, I'm going to buy myself a VPS. So my VPS here is going to be Ubuntu 2004. I strongly suggest you don't be running this at home. If you're feeling frisky though, you can run it at home. Just be wary of those security issues with say, you know, running a service from your house. Okay, that's as simple as that. I just give it a name and I go create. If you're interested in some good hosting, Hetzner is a very solid host, not sponsored at all. They should sponsor though. So my server was created. I'm just gonna check my email for the password and I'll meet you back at SSH. So what I use to actually get into the server is Windows subsystem for Linux. Though if you're new to logging into servers remotely, just use command prompt. A lot of people download putty and use that. No, just use command prompt. They have the SSH thing. So SSH user at the IP. It's simple as that. Command prompt or PowerShell. They're, they're both pretty solid for SSH. So I'm just gonna run this command to log into my brand new VPS. Put in the password, log in and I have to change the password. So once I'm logged into it, make sure I'm the root user. If you're not the root user, go sudo su, and that'll make you the root user. So down in the description, there is this GitHub link. Lovely dude, he wrote the script. Once you're at the link, you just click on install panel.sh, click on the raw, copy the link in the URL at the top here. Once you have the link, just pop into your terminal, type in bash, this weird arrow, open and close parentheses, and in between, type in curl, minus s, and then a link. So I'll show you the pretty basic install. This is really easy. You just press enter, enter, type in a password. Then you can enter the time zone. I'm going to leave it as default. The email address. So this section here, would you like to set up email credentials? Just go no on it. You don't need it. You can set it up in the panel after it's done. Email address for the admin. Username for the admin. First name. Last name. Password. So this is the admin account to actually log into the Pterodactyl. The FQDN, which will, I haven't created yet. So let me pop on over to Cloudflare. So all you wanna do once you're in Cloudflare or even your domain provider, just find a way you can add a record and it should be pretty easy to do it. You just click on add record, make sure it's an A record, type the name. So I'm gonna go Pterodactyl, oh, Terra test, the IP address. So that's the, the address you use to actually get into the machine. This is mine just in case. And I want to unproxy this. You don't want it as uh, proxied. Otherwise, you're going to have issues with the SSH and setting up the actual panel on the daemon. If you want to proxy it, got to know what you're doing. Okay, so the FQDN here is going to be terrotest.plexusmc.net. Automatically configure firewall. Go no on this. Let's go yes on the let's encrypt. And then um, continue with installation. And then just sit back, have a cup of tea, and relax. Just press enter here. Okay, this is for the cert bot. You have to go agree. Certificate worked and the panel has been finished. Now to access the panel, all you have to do is type in your domain. Log in with those credentials that you set up before. Click on the crosswalks. And as you can see, ten panel is set up with SSL. I gotta say, the script has gotten a lot better since the last time um, I was using it. Running the latest version of Pterodactyl. How do we get server set up on here? For that, you want the new Wings install. It was the daemon, now it's Wings. So to do that, you want to pop back onto the GitHub page, click on install wings.sh, go to raw, copy the link, and type in bash, the arrow sign, open and close parentheses, curl, minus s, and then a link. And this will set up Pterodactyl Wings for you. For this option here, go no for MariaDB or MySQL, UFW firewall, yeah, go no on that. Let's encrypt. Go no on that. Go proceed with installation. Okay, that's finished. Now, what we want to do is set up UFW firewall manually. So you go apt install UFW. It's already installed. UFW allow 22 for your SSH. UFW allow 80. UFW allow 8080, UFW allow 443, UFW allow 25565 for your server, UFW allow 2022 for the SFTP within the panel. Once you've done with that, go UFW enable, and it's done. Pop back over onto the panel, go to locations first, create a new location, it's gonna call it node, then you go to nodes, 
create a new node name main description node fqdn the same as you set up before total disk space 10,000 total memory two gigabytes well this is just what i use make sure you check what your machine's actually using okay zero on these sometimes i put negative one it doesn't matter too much and then you just go create node give it some addresses to use so let's go server port 25565 go to configuration click on generate token copy this command here go back into the ssh paste the command and then it runs do the command system ctl restart wings go back here refresh it and as you can see it's working after a few seconds so from there we can actually start creating a server you go to servers create new give your server a name give your server an owner this is the email address it already has the allocation here cpu limit 100 memory ah, one gigabyte disk space 10 gigabytes let's go paper and create and after a few few seconds hopefully not too long the server will be installed so server installed pop on into it and then click start i accept the eula okay server has started all you have to do now is open up your minecraft go to multiplayer direct connection chuck in the fqdn that you were using and go join server and look at that we are on the brand new server hosted on pterodactyl now of course you can set up your own domains to use this video is pretty much done now i'm just going to give you a little tips and tricks for setting it up if you have any issues you can head over to support.plexusmc.net and uh, submit a ticket and then just click on questions for bruce this is direct contact with me and i should be able to help you out then otherwise if you don't want to submit a ticket through there you can always talk to me in the voice chats on the discord https colon slash slash discord.plexusmc.net and this will take you to the Discord server of my Minecraft server, which you should join, play.plexusmc.net. Great server. Trying to make a non-pay-to-win server that actually cares about the players. So you can pop up. I'm, I'm in the voice chats quite often on that server if you want to come and just chat. And if you wanted to run this through Cloudflare, what you have to do is set up a second subdomain, say, pointing to the main machine. And then call it like some random characters, dot domain.com whatever your domain is and then from that you have to do the command system ctl stop nginx to stop the web server and then you have to do cert bot cert only dash d this is the domain to use for your wings to so be just something random dot whatever domain you have after you run this command it should be automatic since you set it up before with your email if not just click on yes to everything it says and then go system ctl start nginx to bring it back up you edit the uh, configuration of the actual node settings you go to settings and then you change the domain then you chuck in the new api key so you just go when you go configuration you go generate token now of uh, this second domain you don't run it behind cloudflare but there's no actual way of uh, getting the domain without someone giving it out or when your developers go to download files this is what they download from this new wings domain so it's not proxied uh be careful about that you can still get the ip address if you're afraid of getting ddosed um and then once you do that you can go to the cloudflare and make your main panel through cloudflare to hide the address you can put it as proxied i also like to take this time to thank you for the lovely amount of uh views i got on my last video um there was so many people asking for my help and um, i hope i helped a lot of you the, the pterodactyl discord i recommended in my last video lately they've been quite poor at support just from my experience you might have a better experience there there's just so many people asking for support and there's only like one channel channel on the discord to actually get support from i'm going to be creating a fork of this install on my github and i'm going to be linking that as the main place to install this from so i can keep control of the changes and so it doesn't this tutorial stays as up to date as possible for as long as possible i hope this video helped give it a like if it helped you it helps me out a lot when you do that it makes me feel very tingly inside and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it if there are any issues i'll try to help as best as i can well, i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing